Hey everybody, this is Ostuni. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y, Episode 4! Last time we, um, defeated, um, Professor Sycamore, and we got ourselves a extra Bulbasaur, which will be going into the box really soon, which I'm actually curious about something real quick. Um, it's a level 10, obviously. Oh, wait a minute, shit. Accidentally, um... Put um, the Venusaurite on the wrong Bulbasaur. Let's see. Item. Okay. Going to do Venusaurite on you. I'm actually curious to see what kind of nature this one winded up with. See, it's a careful nature. Well, I'm not really a fan, then. Yeah, this will be going into the box really soon. Um, oh, the reason I say really soon is because I technically can't go into the box right now because number six in my party is in there. And by the way, just to um, remind you guys, for those of you who were just joining us, he will be uh, joining the team whenever my first, whenever uh, one Pokemon gets to level 40 because he is a level. 40. That was the only way this was going to work. And he is my overall favorite Pokemon of all time. So he means a lot to me. So I will be able to meet them soon, then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. And there's one of them now. That's Ostuni. Ostuni, come here for a second. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the Professor, then. How wonderful! That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysandra. Dre. I'm going to look up the pronunciation. <laughs> I've tried to um, learn much about Pokemon as... As much, uh, as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a Holocaster. Knowledge is power after all. Put it to good use. Now listen. Sorry, I'm disgusted. Now listen. It is vital that this world become a better place. And the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire. It is for a more beautiful world! <laughs> okay, dude. Bye. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world Lissandre desires. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you a chance to learn about them. I think it will. Hmm? Big O, there's a place I want you to go check out. So I'll see you around. There's something I want to talk to you about. Um, I'll be waiting for you at Cafe Soleil, neighbor. God damn it, I gotta find the fucking cafe. Fucking hate navigating this shit. This is the most fucking backwards ass town ever. I wonder what Serena um wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just uh use the holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably uh stay out of it. Hey big O! If you get to Camphere Town, leave the lab, turn left and go straight. That Cafe Soleil, uh, Serena was talking about is over that way, too. Okay, so it's all streamlined for me to just go that way, but I don't want to just go that way! Lemoy City may be large, but if you only stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna go on a walk. These streets are wind and wild here. I forgot that I was doing voices. Whoa. Just so you know, Camphere Town and Cafe Soleil will be this way. I wanna go! 
get the other Megastones. Particularly Charizard Knight Y. I think I have a um, Blastoiseite already on uh, my X save. Let's see. Something to know about this closed shop. You're not gonna get into it as soon as you get into it, no matter what. You need to upgrade your style. There are ways of doing this, and actually in my next video, I'll go over it. Because it's like, unless you Google it, you have no idea how to fucking do it. You really don't. And it pisses me off. Because I had to um, go around the internet and fucking find and confirm that shit worked. And I'll show you guys good ways to um, get in there. Alright, now, something to know. This is where you're going to get the other two Megastones for the starters that you didn't choose. So, let's go over here. Well, knock me over with a feather. That's a weird expression. If it isn't the famous trainer and Stoony that everyone's talking about. I guess they know me from Pokemon X? Mr. Stoney, I've found the most perfect stone for you. Oh, yes, I do. My most prized be- Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Try to look-see. We'll give Charizard to lucky strength. Good for you. Special price. What do you say? It can be used for one million dollars. I have nine million dollars. I'm gonna use it just um, to show people that I'm not gonna cheap out. I mean, I have nine million dollars because I used the code, but I will not subtract anything from it. Charizard Knight? Charizardite? Why? Personally, I prefer. Um, X, but then again, I've never used Y, but then again, he has the ability Drought in that form, is more special attack inclined, so Solar Beam, he gets rid of a weakness, and all that jazz. So, Charizard Y, or Char Mega Charizard Y, is probably the better of the two, to be honest. Alright. Um, I'll have to come back to him later in order to get the other. But um, this store also sells a few other um, stones. Like, they're really random, though, I noticed. Like, if you want stones um, that are used by a majority of Pokemon, you're going to have to go through the super training uh, secret stuff. Like, see, um, fire, water, and leaf. It, I don't think it ever changes. Like, it may change on certain days, so correct me in the comments if um, it changes from day to day. And if it does... Seriously, let me know. I I would like to know that information. <laughs> Let's see. Um, right here is a grooming place for um, your Frufuru, um, your Poodle Pokemon. There are a lot of interesting styles, surprisingly. There's a couple that um, would actually make him worth owning or worth training for me. <laughs> see, I know one YouTuber um, that I watched that, can, um, that uh, while I was watching was who helped me decide that I was going to get a Katsu Kitty card. Um, I can't remember him for the life of me for some reason. God, I feel like a dick. <laughs> oh, um, something else for customization. You need to go into here and you will get the ability to change your eye color because you'll get a contact lens case. Okay, and in. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking... Hiya! This way, please! Welcome... Da, 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 da. Yeah, you can make 10 second videos of yourself, but... It, this is one of those... Random things that... I just really don't care... About that much. Like, it's cool, I guess, if you put some energy into it, but... I mean... I, I'm just not into it. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. I'm just here for the lens case, buddy. Okay. There it is. Lens case. So, what you're gonna do... In order to change your um, contact lenses in this game is to go into any changing booth, including a Pokemon Center, 
and it'll ask you what you want to change if you have the contacts um, case. And you can just choose contact lens and change them. I'm going to do hazel. See, there you go. Simple as that. All right. Let's do this. One thing I wish they would have put in was the option to have facial hair in this game. That would have been pretty cool, in my opinion. See, this is a way that you can... Um, color. Yeah. I'm going to try this a couple of times because I want to get a uh, more brown type of hair. Something lighter. Brown. Because this is a little too dark, I think. There we go. That's perfect. Now, if only we could take off our fucking hats, which you can't. I don't know why. Like, the logic is that like a Pokemon trainer is distinguished by his hat, but fuck that shit. I don't care. I don't want a hat. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to go into it too much. I have a um, I have a beanie on my character's head. That's good enough for me. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm just going to fucking ignore it. Okay, here we go. Let's see. And this is the cafe. Good thing she was standing out front because I wouldn't have known. Could you come here for a second? Sure. Are we breaking up or something? Oh, it's Lissandra. Is that Diantha? Just so you know, neighbor, Lys um, Lysandra is the leader, uh, is the head of Lysandra Labs, which created the Holocaster, a video messaging device. You already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing together. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. This isn't going to be weird. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and play such roles? I want to be a little boy forever. Yeah. <laughs> or a little... No, I'm not going to do that. That's way too weird if I were to say little girl forever. What a strange question. <laughs> I don't fucking know. She doesn't deserve a voice. She's the fucking easiest uh, champion I've ever fought against. Why would I um, want to play the same roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but that's not all there, there is to life. Everything changes. I want to, um, I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You are chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way. I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. I can't stand for the thought of a world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, oh Stoomy. Me and him have the same taste in facial hair, it looks like. WHY CAN'T I HAVE FACIAL HAIR IN THIS GAME?! This is Diantha, one of our most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. It seemed like you were raging there for a second, but it's okay now. Calm your tits, sir. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone were like her. What a beautiful world this would be. If you'll excuse me. And who are you two? My name is Serena, and this is... Oh, Stoony, right? I heard Lissandre, uh called you that. And you both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers? Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in the off time. I look forward to us battling someday. 
Hmm. I guess if you're a Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone, no matter who they are. Oh, that's right, I have something to ask you, neighbor. Would you be willing to compete with me to see which one of us will become stronger? I know we uh, set off on the journey just as just after you arrived in Veneville town, but we are neighbors and I think it would be fun to have a competition with you. Just so you know, I won't lose though. I've got some bad news for you! <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, oh, my eyes. I'm so tired. And this is gonna be the exit that you wanna go to. Hollow clip received. And who's it from? So check this out. I'm on Route Five right now. It's it's just hopper with wild Pokemon. Who are we up and check it out? That's right, Markiplier Santa is Torino, or whatever his name is. Fuck. I don't do pronunciation so well. I hope you guys enjoyed all the rest, or all the same, though. Hey! Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonnie. Have you heard about O Powers? That expression of yours tells me that you have it. Don't worry, I'll tell you about it. O Powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects. They make... They can make on your Pokemon stronger and even help you get more money. More money? Don't really need that. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit from them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. You see, to no power. You can now use attack and defense. Let's see, not all that, but. Oh my god. Okay, now, um. Two things, real quick. I just thought of this uh, since uh, my super training uh, menu is down at the bottom. Let me show you all the uh, IVs, uh, what they kind of look like. There's Veral Form, Brutus, Freakzilla, Zaborg, and Umbra. Umbra was very simple to do. Like, that's how you're going to want uh, to train an Age Slash, pretty much, or super train one. But here we go. Now, oh, it's a Lucario! Car! Wait, Lucario! Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just um, doing some special training with my Lucario, all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn by this boy's aura or something? Car! Huh, well it seems Lucario likes you. You think so? See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess um, something in your aura has made it, has made this one, um, made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario was always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just because, maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer who to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry, I'm on a really, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shallower City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. She, she's a fighting gym leader. Bye bye, Lucario. I'm not going to use you in this playthrough. Sorry. And Mega Lucario's banned from a freaking competitive now. Let me try this. Oh, oh, sick moves, bro! Alright, guys, super potion. Okay. Hmm. Have to get to that at some point. Alright, I got a double battle coming up, and I'm going to use. Let's see. Actually, this team is okay. So I'll be using um, Zaborg and Togepi together against these two. All right, let's see. Twins, Faith and Joy. It's a nut plus one minor. Of course. I gotta say, X and Y probably have the most um, diverse uh, Pokemon listings 
for what will appear in the game than any other game. But then again, of course, um, you can't really have um, a game like this with 60, with only 60 new Pokemon and just use just that Pokedex. That'd be really, really fucking retarded. So, let's get this going. All right, quick attack. Energy ball. Okay, that's pretty good. Critical hit. Thunder wave. All right, so Togepi will either not be able to attack or will go last. Flamethrower. Okay. Let's try Dazzling Gleam this time. Actually, something to um, mention. Maybe Togekiss um, only having um, Dazzling Gleam is a blessing in disguise, because Dazzling Gleam can hit um, your entire opponent's team. Something to know if you're going to um, run uh, fairy types in your party. Especially if you're going to um, put them into double battles and stuff like that. Dang. Almost grew to level 15. All right, Brutus to level 14. Umber to 15. Okay, can't move. All right, I guess it's up to Zayborg to finish this off. Okay, we're going to go with Dazzling Gleam again. But then again, Minin will be gone before then. Well, not quite. There we go, Dazzling Gleam. Heal up uh, Togepi after this. I'm going to try and find a good uh, stopping point here pretty soon. I'm going to want to make that a uh, video for you guys. Um, kind of explaining how to get your style up. What ways are the best ways to do it. Right, Brutus wants to learn takedown. You know what? I'll... um. I'll do that. I'll um, get rid of uh, Vine Whip, because I have Giga Drain. And this uh, Venusaur, or Bulbasaur that I have, Brutus, he's, um, I made him to where he's balanced in attack and defense. So he can use um, his special moves, and he can use um, um, Earthquake with the same effectiveness as his special moves. See, I'm not going to learn Scary Face. Also grew to level 11. All right, defeated twins, faith and joy. Yes. Ah, um, Estonia received $352 for winning. Wait a minute. Oh, ah, oh, I thought I was going to, I thought someone was going to involve it. My bad. Okay. Actually, that's a good stopping point now that I think about it. I will get a Pokemon to evolve and then I will stop because there's a possibility of two evolving in this video, which would be pretty good, or a pretty good ending, in my opinion. My goodness. Pokemon hordes certainly are intense. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I forgot to... Boys are... Yeah, they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Little kids. Oh, Tawina, don't you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope. <laughs> Even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. And if... And then my feet just start moving too. I can't help it, you know? Like Sword Dance. I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Oh, hey there, Big O. Your Pokemon know these sweet moves. Show me the battle. Yep, this is going to be where they evolve. Alright. Tur... Er... Uh, tier... No. Tierno. That's what his name's gonna be, Tierno. I don't care if it's wrong. Shut up. <laughs> okay, and here we go. I was actually lucky on this. I forgot what he uses. Done! Fuck it! Get out of my face! Get out of my face, ho! Alright, Velfor grew to level 16. Bulbasaur. The other Bulbasaur. Level 12. And Tyrannor is defeated. And I received $1,200 for winning like I need it. 
Good to see you, us. Or, good to see you, O Stony. Excuse me, I meant Big O. It really does seem as though Tierno only thinks about dancing and moves when a horde of Pokemon popped up. He just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trims! Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream, after all! I was born to dance. I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should. I guess I should just show just as much dedication to my dream of accomplishing the Pokédex thing. It's good to be serious about some things. Uh, oh, uh, Big O, do you do take this honey, won't you? Oh, bother. <laughs> you see, honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. Though if you are going to challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets. I'm not going to. Let's do this. Let's actually put um, one of the Pokemon that can evolve into place. So Freakzilla is going to be um, our next person. Next Pokemon to battle. Alright, let's see. Maybe I, I bet I fucked up, didn't I? Oh, not too bad. Well, actually, it's perfect, because I still have a bite. <laughs> You're about to get effed in the A. By bite! Telekinesis. What does that do again? Accuracy fell. Well, it's not going to save you from that. All right, gain 702. I think that's enough. <laughs> Level 16. Brutus grew to level 16. Umber to level 16. Zayborg to 15. And finally, Electroweb. I'll get rid of Spiderweb for right now. All right. And now, let's watch, everybody. What? Bruce is evolving! Evolved into Irisaur! Alright! Awesome! And. Oh, what? Someone remind me again when this fucking. Turn it out. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Good stopping point. It's cool. He's gonna evolve in the next episode anyway. So. Thank you guys for watching, um, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe to know whenever the next episode's coming out next. Like I said, next episode is gonna be a guide, kind of, kind of, or tips for how to become more stylish and get into that, um, get into that, uh, clothes shop in Lumoy City. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. This is Stoney signing off! Grrr!